All right, and stream should be up, so thank you for everybody for joining us today. Uh, this is the 1879 actual play. I am Brad Decker, I'm the line developer for 1879. And if everybody else wants to rattle off while I make the announcement posts. Hi, I'm Joel, I'm one of the 1879 writers. I'll be playing uh, Morgana, a elven aristocrat and general investigator. Okay, I'm uh, Chris. I have done some work for 1879 in the past in terms of writing. Uh, and I am going to be playing Waymont, and I am in Elvidge Mage. I'm Michelle. I don't do any writing for 1879 or Fasser in general. Uh, I'm just a hanger on. And I play August, who is an elf and is an investigator. I'm Andy. I don't do anything useful if I can help it, and I'm here today. Yay! So while he's finishing up, do which one of you guys wants to fill Chris's character in on the universe? What happened last? I can give it a go. Brad is playing Nigel, who mostly claims to be engineer, but actually might be some sort of wizard. And is a token human. So last time, every group needs a token. We arrived at the office. Go ahead. Uh, last time we arrived at the office to be offered a job. Uh, this job would have taken us out to some place in America called Wyoming. Apparently, it's a territory. We decided that this probably wasn't for us. Thankfully, our bosses were happy for us to turn down the job. Um, so the next day we came back in to find another job. A lady, uh, Mrs. Kathleen Thomas, a widow, has apparently died in fairly mysterious circumstances because there is blood but no body. Her estranged son, who married an, an unsuitable Catholic young lady, is... Suspect number one and appears to be trying to hurry through the process of getting his inheritance. We have been hired to establish the truth in these matters and work out what's going on. Right. The lady lives in Mayfair, which is a upper class, posh and expensive part of London. Um, We had done some talking to the lady's uh, solicitor to find out some details. Um, and we're moving to the actually asking, going to go and talk to the household staff and that sort of thing at this point, which is when we wrapped up. So I have a question. Why did we turn down the job in, night in Wyoming? Because it seemed pretty sus that they would, one, that they would even hire us to come and deal with this since we're you know all the way across the pond you guys recently handled a supernatural case well or a case of supernatural things and because they're pansies right so i think they decided against it that's and now they think that wyoming's going to come to them what you guys forgot to mention the one important part about the stuff in the newspaper. And a certain someone. Henry. On the previous case. Oh, yes. Um, Henry, our um, villain in the last case, walked out of prison. He walked out of prison? Yes. Prison guards held the door open for him and everything. Yourself. Um, suddenly, I am not so confident in our prison system. What's the fun with the color then? Had you seen the prison system, you should never have had confidence in it in the first place. 
So yes, so Henry, now remember though, Sarah, if I remember her name correctly, she did not get out. Just Henry. Because he's a cad and a bad and a villain. Say you're wrong there. That would be too close to lying, and I don't like lying. He's absolutely a cad and a bad person. All right, so the, yeah, they recently took a job, and the lady, the reason that she's suspected to be dead, even though there's no body, is that the police have said that that amount of blood means the person is dead. Now, the solicitor, who's the executor of the estate, is unclear, is unclear on what to do because there is no body. So technically, is she actually dead? And the son has, within 24 hours, been like, show me the money. So she does not want to hand over the money in case he's the perpetrator of said death or if she's going to show up five minutes later and not be dead. Both seem to be fair reasons to question things. This is true. I mean, we can solve part one of that fairly easily. We just get a medium, pop them over there. There's a ghost hanging about. No, jobs are good. Look, <laughs> we tried the medium last time. If you want to put yourself in the line of fire, go ahead. Well, uh, the one medium you know seems to be rather um, powerful and not terrifyingly in control of things. It might solve the whole inheritance problem by removing the inheritance and daddy it to rubble. <laughs> the house gets all blown up. There's nothing much to inherit now. It's fine. Well, we don't necessarily have to get that medium. We just need someone who can tell us if there's a ghost there. In fact, tell you what, I can tell you if there's a ghost there. There's that. But just because the ghost isn't there doesn't mean that the person's not dead. Sometimes people don't stick around as ghosts. Or they aren't stuck in that place. Sometimes they are. Spirits are weird like that. So they went to the solicitor and then they did ask, like, is there, you know, maybe someone that was recently fired or let go of? And basically the solicitors had to be like, yeah, so uh, I'm the fourth solicitor in, what, 15 years from this firm. And I, we consider ourselves quite lucky. Apparently she's quite known for being angry and firing people or vendors for very little. And I think you guys had asked shortly before we ended for, you know, a group of the last, and we were trying to figure out how long, how far back you wanted to go. I think something like, on average, she fires or gets sort of a vendor at least once a week, if not multiple times a week. I'd say probably so, like six months. Yeah. So, I mean, in the last six months, you're talking about 30 to 50 people that have either been fired or have been terminated as a vendor. And who knows how many people weren't ever hired. As far as who some of those people were, the executor doesn't know as much about that. She believes that the uh, servants at the house would be better equipped to answer those questions. Because she simply, you know, puts money into an account. She doesn't, you know, that's usually all paid for out of the, you know, house's budget. Household staff means seems more likely to be a problem than vendors. Unless there's some really vengeful greengrocers in London. Actually, that's possible. It's actually very possible. 
That's the pie um, makers and barbers you need to watch out, out for. Fair point. There's that. And, and the, the, the ability of this woman to annoy and or just tick off the rest of humanity is pretty good. At least you should have been left with somewhat of that as an impression. She's uh, very talented at annoying everyone. Yeah, she's charming. Very charming. Well, we might just eat them. Also, I mean, that one's out. So, um, so, I think you guys were heading over to the household. I thought. I could be wrong. I believe that was the next step of the plan. Okay. Mm. So, going to her house and talking to the, um, basically the lady who runs the kitchen, her lady's maid, and the butler. Yeah, yep. and having a good general sniff around. As probably it were. the butler primarily, or at least first, because he's going to have the the finger on the pulse, as it were. Her head maid may also be more pro may also be useful given it to say single lady living in the house. The lady's maid knows a lot of things. So yeah. All about her. I'm just saying for the household. Oh. Yeah. But I mean, we'll want to talk to all of them. Yeah, I'd quite like to get a look at their household ledgers and stuff as well. So. Okay. So, off you go. I am not. I'm not scatterbrained. You're scatterbrained. I'm totally scattered. Um, it's a hop, skip, and a jump over. Not hard. Uh, and if I remember correctly, and Brad can correct me on this, this would be of a time period where, after something like this, you have everybody and their dogs up there. Because it would be, like, the story. Unless I'm wrong. You probably can tell me I'm wrong. I don't know that they'd necessarily be at her house. Yep. Because, I mean, that's where you would have... I mean, a lot of times your your viewings and stuff were done in the home. Although maybe in England they didn't do it that way. I know in the U.S. the viewings were almost always done in the home. And everybody came over. It was, actually was a major issue at crime scenes for the longest time was how do you collect when everybody's over there trampling through the place? Oh, well, if it's a private house that has staff, I'm sure they could keep everybody out. It'd be more if they were told. More problem if it was like a lower class home. I was going to say, but that's if they were told to. Start into things like um, the sun's probably going to be camped out there. Because, Well, that depends you know, on what the, what the current advocate is, the executor of the estate would be. Well, but that's it. Like, the, this, the, the lady, the es esquire, she's not necessarily going to be there telling people to get out. She's hired you guys to figure it out so that she can stay out of it. Yeah, but she could have left instructions. She could have, but they probably wouldn't have. I mean, that's I, like... <laughs> I don't know what she, what she would have advocated for, so... See, that's it. Like, I don't know that she's... She's not been down to the house. 
Like, she found out because he came over here and said stuff. Remember? She's not even been to the house. So the idea that she would have necessarily seen or known what's going on, I'm not so sure. And I, those of you who write... Well, if she had enough presence of mind to say, hey, this is suspicious, I need to call somebody else to come take a look. Right. But she didn't go I, down. Like, came over and said... Give me the money. And she said, wait a minute. <laughs> what? I would imagine she probably would have said something uh, you know, around the time that she hired us. That doesn't necessarily mean she had said something prior to that. And there may have been a whole bunch of tramping around prior to, to our arrival. Well, and, and like I said, one of the other things that hits that I don't think we always think of as modern is one. They didn't actually have the idea that you're contaminating a crime scene in this time period so much. Right. And two, like I said, viewings were done in the home. So if there's no body to view in this case, but like this is a big talk of the town. Everybody's going to be up trying to get a peek see at the place. Like it would not be unheard of for neighbors to be lolling about trying to look around. And unless the police are right there on top of it saying, no, then who are the servants to keep out? Viewing this quick, though. Well, they wouldn't have it. Well, yeah, actually, because you didn't leave the body sitting around. I thought all possible. Like you had the viewing ASAP. There's no viewing for this one because. Yeah, but, th but that's uh, okay. Because there's, there's no body. There's nothing. There's no reason to have a viewing. <laughs> but yeah, but what I'm saying, though, is it's, it's a crime scene and that they're all going to be curious about. So I would think that the neighbors are down there trying to get a peek see and that the staff isn't going to be able to say much to the lords and ladies living next door. Unless directed by the police to? Like, I don't know. What do you guys think? I would think... I feel it's like... Uh, I'd expect there to be a few blind guys. Why they would allow them in. <laughs> yes, but no, but no, but yes. Like, you don't allow them in if you're told not to allow people in. But if the person who says, don't allow them in, isn't there, and they outrank you. But I don't know. Maybe they wouldn't let anybody in. Just to keep things, you know. Maybe maybe they're just going to be gawking from their parlors, trying to peek, but they can't get in. Okay. I suspect a lot of gawking is likely. Yeah, and so so they're not inside the building so much, but they are gawking. They are purposely walking the dog back and forth in front of it, you know, peeking through the windows. Suddenly decided to have their morning tea up on the front step, even though they've never done that before. That type of thing. Trying to get a see of what's going on, but not actually over on the property itself. That seemed like it works? Yeah, that works. Thank you. Makes sense to me. We're going with it. So. You guys head down. Unusually high amount of looky-loos. All over the place. Extra looking. Super top secret looking wooing. Um, but you guys have no trouble getting to the building, knocking on the door. Although I have a feeling that the um, butler looks at you guys pretty disdainfully. <laughs> Probably thinks there's some more cookie loot to find some reason to peek in. He doesn't even say hello or good morning or anything. He just arches an eyebrow at you. Well, we have cards. Well, that helps a lot. You hand over cards? He's a butler. They're infamously sneaky. That hurt. Sorry. Come here. It's sharp. Sorry? Don't poke me. <laughs> Sorry. 
So he takes the card and doesn't look so smug, self-aware anymore. Looks a lot more tired, actually. That's what he looks. He looks tired. And I feel like people probably don't realize what a toll this would take on a house. Especially since, you know, it's not like they have a book that says, and then when your, you know, head person is apparently killed and, you know, disappeared, this is what one should do. They're missing that paperwork. So he just looks really tired. And then kind of steps aside and ushers you guys in and very firmly closes the door behind. Um, 25 like, impression against the butler. And it was uh, 20 first impression? 25. 25. My D8 nice. went mad. 19 on my D8. You know what? He's super tired and he feels very comfortable with, with Lady Morgana. He, he shows you in, not into like the standard, you know, morning sitting room type of thing that you might have thought you should be, but into one of the more, like, the morning room instead of like a sitting room. And he kind of actually tumbles into a chair and he suddenly just looks a lot older. And he just kind of looks at you guys and goes, Did... Oh my goodness, what was her name? The uh, lawyer. Mr. Robbins, or uh, Rollins. Did, 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 did Rollins. Rollins Esquire send you? She did. We had hoped you would be able to help us get to the bottom of exactly what is going on here and make sure that everything is done as it should be. The picture of Her dead son is upstairs. Just so you know. No, nothing you've been told would lead you to believe that the man is a deadbeat. He might be, but nothing's been said. But apparently, Sancho thinks he's a deadbeat. And has that he cares. He hasn't left since he was asked about his mother's disappearance. Notice that the butler uses the term disappearance, not her death. Her disappearance. How do I help? Well, we are going to be asking, I'm afraid, we'll see like an awful lot of questions questions and probably want to have a look at pretty much everything we can to get to the bottom of this. Um, we will try and deal with this as quickly and inobtrusively as possible, of course, but well, um, in the nature it is, we are going to be looking at a lot of things. In particular, we're going to want to have a look at the, uh, the room that she disappeared in. Indeed, I think that's probably where we should start. Do you want me to start talking to the to the staff and August can have a look at the books? I would actually say I think it would be most helpful first to make sure we're not disturbed as we're taking a look. Um, I don't know if our uh, the, the the young son would need to be occupied while we have a look about. So he, the butler's like, it. he, he believes he already runs the household. So he's a bit much to deal with at the moment. Um, I can, we can, the staff and I can try to maybe keep him and his wife corralled 
but I don't know that I can make promises on that. I could begin by interviewing the two of them. What a good idea. Oh, uh, by the way, the room where she disappeared, has that been cleaned or has it been left as is? Uh, we've been trying to keep it as is. He's been insisting that everything should be taken out and burnt. We've held off as long as we can by... And he looks chagrined. He, he does. He looks honestly chagrined. Implying that the police have told us not to yet. So he's basically admitted that they have lied to what should be their new employer. Well, as the investigative bit. authorities, that is the correct protocol. So, but he does look, he, he has the, he, he does, he looks chagrined. He looks a little sheepish at admitting that they've been on it. Uh, We'll probably not reach out and pat him on the hand or anything like that because that wouldn't be proper but we'll reassure him that that is well until it has properly gone through the courts and we know for certain what happened to his mistress it's not the son's household yet so he's doing right he's doing the right thing by his mistress at this point and and he 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 seems to, you know, straighten his shoulders back up a bit. Seems to have, you know, regained a little self-esteem, so to speak. Um, why don't we keep them out of your hair for as long as we can, and then I will send a maid up if we can't. They haven't um, rounded themselves much at this point. I think that sounds prudent. And then if they yes. are insistent okay. on meeting Morgan, I think you would probably take point on that. Obviously. Yes, that seems the best plan. So um, he will then take you upstairs himself and he he opens the door it opens in he opens the door but he doesn't look in the room and he doesn't step into the room and as the last one of you goes into the room he closes the door um, in the room however is a woman crying not like, oh my God, bawling, rack sobs of despair type crying, but crying. And she's like over in a, like an ottoman set hay type of thing. And she looks like most likely the lady's maid. And she looks like she's been crying for quite a while, to be honest. And it's almost as if she doesn't really notice you guys at first. Like, the door opened, you all walked in, and it just seems to take her a moment to kind of come out of this haze that she's in. And she she kind of stands up and starts straightening her can I help you? Apologies for in the intrusion. We are the investigators uh, Miss Ms. Rollins has sent. Oh, 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 yeah, of course. Of, of course. I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, yes, I... Can I help you? And the room itself is very much a, it's a lady's bedroom. It's got a couple of dressers. It has a couple of doorways into what looks like was probably like a walk-in closet type of area. Um, it's got 
um, fairly large bed in the middle of the room, nightstand. Bed seems to have some blankets thrown over the top of it. Because you're not seeing a giant pool of blood. So, you know. Uh, 13 on the first impressions on her, and then we'll just ask her politely if you could step over to one side of the room and run me through the events. Run me through these infor the unfortunate events from everything she can remember from the night before, while the others have a good look around the room and use their actual skills of perception that I lack. <laughs> The, the night before she was found, they, she had had dinner like was her norm. Okay. The, the ladies made herself to help bring her upstairs, you know, helped her upstairs. As Sunday, she was a little slower about getting up the stairs than others. You know, at this point. Um, helped her get undressed, helped her get ready for bed. Made sure she was tucked in, that type of thing, before leaving. For lack of a better term, it all seemed very normal to her. Uh, the next morning, when she came in with the tray, her ladyship was gone. There was simply a giant stain of blood. She says she doesn't remember screaming. But apparently she screamed because people came running up the staircase. It's true. And then she, uh, she says she didn't remember dropping the tray, but you can see where she gestures on the floor and you can see that there's still some like stain on the carpet. And that someone was sent to get the police. The police came. Um, they, um, she just kind of blinks and she's like, I'm not really sure. Like, they were here, I know it, and they, they talked to everyone. And they asked us who could possibly have done such a thing. But I couldn't, I just, I don't. Basically, somewhat shock and just didn't seem to have fully, you know, caught it all, figured it all out type of thing. Um, apparently, some point after the police left, they put the blankets down over the mattress. Uh, she will tell you that, that there is bedding missing. There did not seem to be any. Um, do you have my wallet? Uh, no. Uh, check upstairs. Bathroom, maybe? That's not good. Hold on, guys. I got to go and look for my wallet. Did I bring it in? Don't know. Okay, well, I'll go look for it. The phone was. I'm going to go. I'll, come, I'll find you. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll check the car first because that's a likelihood for me. I will check the car. Sorry. I can't seem to keep track of my wallet these days. It likes to wander off on me. Or possible. Um, well, usually it's just the money that wanders off, and that's, you know, like right around Gen Con time. Yeah, Gen Con time, the money just, just flies in. I don't talk about how much you pay dispenser drink, and I thought that was the rule. Um, um, so, they, um, so there doesn't seem to be any jewelry missing. No, whoever it was, they... they didn't, a trail of blood or anything, but there is a bunch of bedding missing. Um, apparently, she used to get very chilly at night sometimes, 
So she kept up struggling in the room. Uh, according to me, like several tickets are missing. The police seem to think that that's how they, whoever it was, the person, persons of interest, managed to be out was by pulling her in the bedding. It's in the car. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. So. Yeah. Questions about the room, questions to her. Um, I'll. Gently question her about if there was anyone knew the lady had been um, Mrs. Thomas had been talking to in the last few days. Anything, anything unusual? Um, I presume she didn't leave the house a lot given her age. No. Um, she went out typically once a week to church. Once a month, though, was with the son. So. Well, I'm going to flip on my astral set, I think, and I'm going to check around and see if there's any magical happenings in this room. Seven. Nope. Nothing magical. Completely mundane. How curious. Nothing magical. Uh, the maid is not magical. Um. Well, this would be, this is out of character, but often there's, uh, astral space kind of gets muddied if there is anything, like a murder or something like that, that happens. Yes. And you could say it's muddied, but not magical. Interesting. So if it's muddied because there was a murder, does that mean that there actually was a murder? Something violent happened here. And if you can see spiritual realm stuff, with the astral, you should be able to see spiritual realm stuff. You're probably starting to see what might be considered telltale signs of something bad happened here, such as, like, the shadows might move that shouldn't move. Things like that. Things that aren't quite the same as, woo, ghost, but are definitely There's weird occurrences. Well, but it's not positive. Well, I definitely think something bad happened here. Can we keep the cheesecake? I just need that your cheesecakes. Okay. Um. Oh. But yeah, no, it, it, there's nothing like, oh, and then there's a magic thing or nothing to that type of level. And I would guess at this point, you guys actually probably would kind of know the inkiness of things weren't quite. Yeah. It's up to you. That's fine. Okay. Put your input. Oh. And then I'll that. Okay. I think you guys would start to recognize the inky magicalness of that can't be good. Oh, shoot. Zachary, would you go in the trunk of the car and grab me a soda? Thank you. Um. 
but again, it's not quite the same type of thing. Um, so nothing magical. If you pull the thing from the bed to look at the blood spit on the mattress, it's it's sizable. It's probably is this is three four foot oval flattery. Right. Um, Can you hear right. me, So, does this look like the kind of amount of blood that would sort of be in the human body? Has this person been completely exsanguinated? Tell me how you would know that or what you want to roll to see if you know that. Um, well, I don't know if I could do much with that. I think maybe it's just is it like an awful, awful, awful law of blood? I've got evidence analysis, if that helps. That would help. Um, the police seem to think that there's enough blood that she's dead. I can tell you that. But if she, if um, August wants to roll, that would work. Just Oh, I might like to me. Twenty-one. Yeah. Um. I mean, with knowing the blankets that are missing, you know, without knowing the actual size, blah blah blah. Truthfully, yeah, that's a lot of blood. Nobody walked out from their own power with that much blood loss. Those people are pretty good. So, realistically, you would agree with the police on the she's dead. Is it concentrated in any particular spot, like it would have been a particular wound, or is it just like all over the bed? It's mostly concentrated in a spot, but there is definite... Um, August, do you want to have another like analysis on maybe blood splatter? Uh, do you want me to make another one? Yeah, give it another go. See if they're playing again. Uh, different dice modes. 13, 16, 21. What if I'm making the roll? Um, <laughs> so. This is multiple strikes. Your guess is going to be a knife. But the blood uh -huh. as it's going as it's brought up and back down, up and back down. Seems to be that there's many strikes. But all of the blood seems to be basically in the same kind of pooled out. So whoever mm -hmm. was striking was probably striking her in one section of the body, most likely the chest. Mm-hmm. That would be about where, right? It, to you, it seems like someone struck her in and about her upper chest. Her death at least nine, ten times from the way of years is possibly moved. Because okay. they slap on each other and it gets really good double. Like, Sorry, Andy, I didn't catch any of that. Sorry. So, you know, that she was at least stabbed nine to ten times, but it starts to the blood splatter starts to overlap so much that it gets right. to tell the norm. But almost if she wake up after the first one, like there doesn't seem to be a lot of movement in where the body. Mm -hmm. so okay. It's attack like she was asleep when, and she, which definitely was an overkill because. Oh, she was escaping or fighting. It seems mm -hmm. to you that you probably never woke up enough to even fight back. Okay. I will describe the situation to um, our party as I see it. 
if the I, lady's I, maid is I was gonna say, I'm assuming we're going to have the good sense to direct the lady's maid elsewhere. Oh, I sorry, don't... I forgot she was in the room. I presume so. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'll take her out. I, I, I will take her outside or away, and you can catch more. You can catch Morgana up in a moment. <laughs> sorry, I completely right. forgotten that. <laughs> Does it look like? <laughs> There's Dead blood way. elsewhere, like, like outside of the bed. Like if we look on the upper one, on the banister, on the back wall. You see blood, sp blood splatter, which August would be able to tell you was from when it hit, and then as you pull it out, it splashes. But not really outside of that. Like it all seems to be blood splatter from the the knife being punched up and down, up and down. So you have some on like the, the the headboard, on the wall, even some on the ceiling. This was apparently a fairly violent attack, but the the lady never, probably never woke up and definitely never got out of bed. Well, I would assume that if it, they're striking a living person, there would be some amount of spray from the heart still beating until it stopped. Well, that's what I said. Like, there's, there's, well, her basically stopped the moment the first knife hit. Like, she wasn't pumping anymore after the first hit, really. And there, there's some blood splatter from the knife going around, but no, she, she got stabbed and probably died on the first stab. But there was no body. But then the body seems to have been wrapped up in the extra blankets. And some of the bedding itself and is gone. So now, my question was away. whether it was actually her that was stabbed, because it would be very easy for somebody to fake that with you know, stabbing an animal or something like that. Yeah. That so, is what we're trying to work out. So that's what I'm. Tr that's what I'm asking. Does it look like there's? Can, with that roll, can you tell if there was an, an actual heart pumping at all to have sprayed something? Or was this a, a, a dead body that, that was already dead and just stabbed to create the blood splatter? I will let August correct me, but I'm not sure that August has been to that many gruesome scenes to know the difference. Um, that is correct as an assumption. Oh, but that would be tied into the skill. It, it tied into the skill somewhat, but like definitely enough blood that whoever it was, if that's a human, would probably be dead. Definitely, you can see where this is from the knife going up and down. But whether or not the heart was still bleeding, I mean, it's very possible. You're asking whether or not. August, can, he can tell that the heart was beating and as soon as the knife went, it quit beating versus it was something else dead there. Like, I don't... No, what I'm asking is, based off of the splatter pattern, which we've already established that August can see, does it look yeah. like it's only from the knife going in and out or does it look like there's a pattern uh, that would be consistent with a heart pumping, even if it's just the once, to spray out from the wound. Now, if it, you don't have the successes for it, because yes, that is a difficult roll, it's fine, but that's the question. I don't think I'll get some help. August would probably tell you that this looks like so much blood that it it's not like it's a small animal. Hmm. And it doesn't look like, I mean, you're looking at, what, a, a really large dog to be in the same size category as a human for amount of blood? I was thinking something like a pig. Pig. What? Pig? Which, you're either bringing the pig in, strangled something, and then you'd still have to get that carcass out and her out. Unless you wish to bring it in like a barrel. Well, assuming she was here at the time. I mean, that's possible. Uh, 
But August, I, August, best guess is is that there's enough blood that if it was a human, the human died. Um, it doesn't look like the person moved, so either was already dead. I guess it's a feasible thing. If it pumped, it only pumped once and didn't get very far because an old person doesn't have a very strong heart. I don't know. Well, this isn't quite sure. Um, mm -hmm. Other general investigation around the room? Well, I had a 15 on awareness, just kind of generally taking a look around the room. Okay, anybody else? Let me just... mm, I mean, I could take a look around, just with like general awareness. Is there anything like out of place, anything like that? Oh, do that. Ten, fifteen, anybody else? Well, I think I'll probably be focusing on um, what I've just done with an ev evidence analysis. Um, Brad, you see what looks like possibly a partial fingerprint, thumbprint, bloody print on uh, near the windowsill. Okay, let's have a look about the window then. I was going to look there anyway, but that's a good place to start taking a look then. Okay. Um, you want me to just roll another specific awareness for that one? This way we have reasons to keep buying dice. <laughs> <laughs> I like. Oh, that's fair. Oh, you're so sweet. All right, got a, a did another awareness specifically looking around the window. I got a 16 on that one. Okay. So. So, there seems to only be the one, but you can actually see the What's the time to kind of wipe down the windowsill? They just happen to miss a fingerprint, smudge, partial fingerprint, some friend. Um, what you can do. So does that mean it's a... Sorry, Andy, you're breaking up horribly. I'm sorry. Um, now, whether or not that fingerprint is... A specific, like, large female or a smaller male, you're not totally sure, but it's definitely not a tiny, you know, fingerprint. But someone is taking the time to wipe this thing down. Because you can see little bits of, like, streaks of red where they wiped it down, but they didn't quite perfect it. The window itself is a pretty simple, it just pulls up, pulls down, doesn't even seem to have much of a lock to it. Um, is the window locked currently? It doesn't even really have a lock. It has a stick that you use to keep it propped up if you want to open it. Uh, so it just has an opening stick, it doesn't have a lock mechanism? No lock. It's on the, it's upstairs, it probably didn't, you know... that came in this neighborhood. This level, either. Um, so looking out the window is, like, what's all outside? So, bedroom faces the street I, there's I did a not get any of that bedroom faces the street there's when you look out the window you, there's a terrace but it's not connected to her room Definitely the room next to you 
used to have a terrace and there is some lattice work. You want to give me a actually I'm not gonna make you roll for it. When you look at the lattice work, there's some obvious signs that like the recently. I I got up to there's some obvious signs that and then you cut out again. Is that the roses that go up the lattice work to that terrace are damaged. Recently damaged. So we know the point of entry then, or at least the point of exit, doesn't necessarily mean they came in the same way. Well, I think we'll want to have a look outside around the lattice work and uh, when we get to that point just to see if we can pick up the trail I'm relaying the rest of the information with the, the group by the way as I'm looking at it thanks okay. oh God, watch as the ladies made elsewhere will rejoin the group and get let yourself go and then catch up on what we found out. Okay. Anybody, any other questions for the bedroom? For the ladies' maid? Just to check, because um, I've just, you know, probably used the excuse of getting her to show me around the other rooms her mistress usually uses of an evening, um, just to get her out of the room. Is there any sign with either of the staff we've talked to that they're sort of hiding anything at the moment, or are they just upset that their their boss, the, the person they've worked for for quite a while, has seemingly died? Nobody on the staff seems unusual. Um, that all seems to be upset that he's dead. Um, yeah. Some people are not as broken as others. Um, the the ladies really don't want to tell tales, but basically say that sometimes her ladyship wasn't the nicest of people to work. With. You know, she doesn't say anything really mean or bad about it. Just that she wasn't always the nicest person to work for. Not the easiest to get along with. Um, yeah, she had some, uh, quote, strong opinion. <laughs> um, mostly just uh, trying to keep an eye out just in case, you know, if this is a case of somebody murdered her and then somebody in the staff hid the decided to move the body to muddy the waters or something. Um, I mean, crazier things is, happened. Like, I'm just saying. Yeah. Wrong. Crazier <laughs> things have happened. But they're not sounding, they're not acting like they're trying to hide no. anything or suspicious at the moment, which they probably would in that case. But you you may notice a certain amount of suspicion as far as, like, they're trying to hide you guys from the son and his wife. Like... One of them starts to, and then like sees you guys outside the room. Thank you. And, and basically is like, oh, um, I, I think I should show you this thing here really fast and trying to like dodge them out of your way. It's <laughs> nice. So by the sound of it, they might like they might not have always liked their boss, but they think she's probably better. They like her better than the new boss. I don't seem to like him. 
No, that's... But the reason that the books are still there is... Well... Um, they could keep their mouth shut about her opinions. Like, to a degree. If that makes any sense. Like, they either agreed with her opinions on things or at least knew discretion was the better part of valor. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, but no, they don't seem overly... They don't, they don't, they're not coming off dodgy towards you guys. That's fine, because it was one of the thoughts of a possible <laughs> way this could be complicated. A thought just occurred. The lady's maid notice, noted that there wasn't any jewelry missing. Did she note anything with her wardrobe? She did not, but I don't know that she would have thought to look. If we can ask that question, if anything was missing from her. Yes. There. Yes. Um, she will have to come back in the room and look. She's not noticing anything missing. She didn't look at that. Now, I, my thought being, if the lady was moved moved of her own volition, and this is a cover up, that. Maybe she'd have an outfit missing. That's, I mean, that's a valid question. Um, but no, there doesn't seem to be any clothing missing. Um... There's definitely several blankets missing. When we were looking oh. at the blood spatter, did the did it look like the the weapon penetrated through the body into the bedding at all? So most of the bedding is gone, but the mattress is still there. And yes, the knife would have gotten into the bed, into the mattress. As it, yeah, because it, 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 whatever's got the blood behind on it. Yeah. Okay. No, it does. Anything we can tell about the, it? Does it look like it was a knife? Yes. Fairly long. Um, Double-edged. You think? Okay, so a knife long enough that would penetrate through the body. Like, because she wasn't a very big woman, but it's probably, your guess would be it's a 10-inch knife or so. Oh, that penetrate through the body? Yeah, 10 inches would go through the body. I mean, depend on where you're hitting, and how far, how hard down you're going, and how much person there was. A little old, slight, only. She was not a very big woman, but definitely. Pretty hard. I mean, if you had to take a guess. But a 10 inch blade wouldn't go through a pig. I mean, unless, no. uh, de it, uh, depending on where you're hitting it, but to get that kind of a blood pattern.
Where's the the servant's door for this room? One second. So yeah, um, so there's a closet door, and the servant's door is actually in the back of the closet. It sounds weird, but it actually works pretty easy that way. Yeah, no, you don't that's, have to look. That's not unusual. Taking a look just through the servant's door, anything unusual out of place look to be in there. Just wondering if no. maybe they had a, a separate point of ingress. No, nothing seems out of place. That's all fine. Other yeah. any other ideas? Because I uh, that's all I can think of for here for the moment. I think it may be time to talk to the son and the daughter in law. So the son and daughter-in-law were taken downstairs and are in the um, the formal breakfast dining area. They basically got them out of your guys' way as best they could. Oh. So if you guys want to go down there, that's peepee and works. Where were they before they were taken down? Uh, they were still up in their rooms until shortly about the time that you guys took the ladies made out. And then they were like, oh, come look over here. And then they took them downstairs out of there. You guys were not really in sight. Apparently, he has stayed at the house since. And... If they're um, both down there, um, might be a bit improper, but might be prudent to take a look in their room while they're otherwise occupied. You absolutely can. Hey, my guest. I'll go and talk to them. Fifteen. All right, you. You go ahead and keep them distracted. I will do my best to not be seen, so they don't question my whereabouts while they're being questioned. All right, so everybody but Knight is going downstairs, or just Lady Morgana is going downstairs? I think probably better if at least most of the group is down there. Maybe if one other person wants to take a look with me. I was going to say, I could come and have a poke around. <laughs> or not. 
Or you could. I mean, I don't mind either way. All of these are perfectly valid war choices. I'm gonna suggest Waymont comes down to look at the um the son and daughter in law with me because he can cover some of the magical side of stuff. Alright. Yeah, if you feel if that's how you feel, I'll do that. That's fine. And then has yeah as many eyes in different directions as we can get away with. Okay. That works for me. So pretty much Nigel's going to sit upstairs and peek around that area, their room. And the rest of you are going downstairs, yes? Make sure I understand. Because I'm, I'm not always bright. And unless August wanted to come with me, I wasn't sure there. I'm, I'm good going alone on this one, too, so whatever. August? Um. Sorry, I was contending with bangs from fireworks because it's bonfire night and for some reason we celebrate failing to blow up Parliament. Um, and I hate fireworks at the best of times. Um, I will quite happily go with Nigel and um, be a second pair of eyes to, you know, have a shifty with. Sounds good. Okay. So let's do the upstairs first. You have zero trouble finding the room. The maids and people will show you if you couldn't find it. Apparently it used to be his childhood room. What do you want to look for? Um, well, first, just kind of a general casing of the room yep okay uh, let's go ahead and throw uh, that's an 18 okay bear with me Sorry, August, you had an eight? Uh, oh, no, sorry. 15. 15? Yeah. So, whenever it looks rushed, as if, like, they got out of bed and they, and no one's cleaned up the room since they got out of bed, and neither of these two people cleaned up, you know, made their own bed out of themselves or anything like that. So, it seems very, they hopped out of bed and just left it looking like that. As far as possessions brought in, uh, just everything still in they bags? Have, or Yeah, they have like a couple of bags with them. But not... Like a quick overnight bag type of thing. Not anything... Um, not massive suitcases or anything like that. So nothing to suggest they're here long term. Nothing to suggest that they knew in enough time to pack really well before they came over. Mm -hmm. Much closer to, and we found out mom was dead and we threw some stuff in her bag and we went over. Well, but that might also be a little bit odd because we established before that Easter was coming up and he did call around the holidays, didn't he? He usually came up around the holidays, yes. But he would come up for like a day, take her to church. He didn't necessarily stay in. Okay. And anything like other clothes that aren't like in the bag or thrown out on the bed type of thing, it does... It says if she got rid of all of it. Like, there aren't signs of like, 
You know how, like, if you went back to your childhood home, there's a good chance that there's some toys that you left that your parents still have in your room or whatever. All of that seems to be not here. Hmm. So, like, he didn't seem to have clothes that were kept here. There aren't any childhood toys or anything like that. Well, look around the less than obvious spots, check under the bed, check the night side, table, drawers, any other furniture that might have to hidden drawers or hide anything else of importance. You look around, you don't find much. Um, there's some things in the one drawer. There's some what in the drawer? Uh, they're just in the drawer. They're not per se hidden. No, but, They're just... but what was it I didn't hear? Oh, you find some papers that have a bunch of what looks like he's taking some sort of like list to be like, and this is mine, and th like like he's taking a list of um, her what sh should be her property or property that he wants to ask about. So, apparently, like, there's a beach home that she may have owned or does go own. No. There's some accounts that he seems to think she has. Okay. Um, I'm going to do an eidetic okay. memory on those, which, okay. for the way the skill works, I don't roll it now. I roll it later when I have to recall it. Kind of a but yeah. But yeah. So so I'm gonna I'm taking the time to flip through it, memorize it, and then I'll roll it later to see how well I remember it. Okay. Okay. Um looking at how the room's structured, is it can uh, uh is it on the same side as what her bedroom was? Um like, does the window also look so, out to the street? Yes. But it's not the room next door that has the uh, parents. It's about two rooms down from there. So it's basically that side, but the other end of the hall. Anything unusual with the window here? No. All right. Um, only other thing I can think is I will... Try to, to sneakily as I can on my end do an astral sight. See if I can spot anything magical in here. Hang on, that one's cocked. And I'm going to throw karma. 16. 16? Yeah, you don't see anything. I mean, there's that creepiness from, like, the shadows that something bad has occurred in this area. But that's much less here than it was in the other room. It's more from something bad happening in the house, not something bad happening in this room. Yes. Gotcha. Exactly. Yes. Okay, um, August, do you have any other thoughts on anything you want to take a look at around here? Uh, nothing springs to mind, to be fair. Okay, um, I think probably best if we slip out through the servant's door. So we're not seen in the hallway. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, you can actually go back, like, through the closet in this one, go through the servants, and then hook up to the staircase for the servants room, or, or the servants hall, and go into basically the kitchen downstairs, without anybody other than the servant seeing you. Yeah. Okay, well, I think that's all we had, so we can okay. jump over to the social side. Sure. And the breakfast nook. Later.
Lady Morgana is heading the charge. Yes, Morgana will approach going full um going full aristocrat rather than try to tone down her accents or anything attitude at all. Um, I have 24 and a first impression to introduce myself and Waymont. Um, Oh, okay. Perfect. Um, they seem duly impressed because technically, I can tell technically they're not royalty, royalty like she is. So it's working. Um, although they both look at you as in like, why are you in my? It, it, actually, the guy after basically is, why are you in my home? We are here to investigate your mother's apparent death at the request of her legal representative to make sure everything is above board with your inheritance. He says something unkind about um, Rollins Esquire and how she's a busybody who just needs to hand over his inheritance. This is ridiculous. My mother was told by. Well, nonetheless, we've been paid am... to do a job, yeah. and that is what we're going to do. <laughs> and I am sure you would not want the cloud that any suspicion would be cast over you. That any suspicions would cast over you. So, well, we are here to investigate and find out what has happened, and remove any obstacles in your way if you are mean happy to assist mother, and they offed her that is what has happened here now you see the wife kind of just looks pale at how blunt kind of rude her husband is being about his mother and she's kind of like kind of pat pat on his hand now now dear maybe maybe and he just gives her the, he just, it's not a very nice spousal look. Now, don't just you dare me. Literally everyone hates my mother. Well, not everyone. And he just looks at her, everyone. My own father hated my mother. Everyone. So if you're looking for who, look around. Everyone. And like some may dropping off jam or something at the table, all but drops it, has this look of what? No, I didn't. And like run, like kind of flees out of the room halfway. Volcano will risk muttering something about, well, obviously somebody takes after their mother. Um... <laughs> Pretty close, yeah. Except not, but you. You you have to understand the solicitor's position as the person who is going to benefit most from your mother's demise. It is best if we clear matters up. If there is anybody you can actually name that you suspect, that would be wonderful. Uh, I've also rolled a conversation roll just yeah you because know, I figure I'm working on both of it, which was a mere twenty six. My dice like me today. Yeah, yeah. Your dogs do like you. Know. It, it's not. It's not directed at you. It wasn't even directed at the maid. He's seems to be ticked off that he's not getting his own one. He seems to be ticked off that he's being suspected. But it's not per se a evil. And he's like, not out of He's a little flabbergasted. Like, they're all suspects. Everyone up and down the streets, the neighbors are suspects. Their servants are suspects. Finally, someone who actually liked her, and that would be more of a miracle. Okay. 
there's a rattling in from the kitchen. Apparently someone is listening in and didn't necessarily care for his uh, tirade. The wife has been properly chagrined enough and has said nothing since he basically told her to shut up. He is coming across as a pompous person who's used to getting his own way rather than somebody who is guilty of something. Oh, yeah, he's totally a pompous person. And but it's not. Be, yeah, it doesn't come across that he's guilty as much as he is just an ass. The wife sits there and she just has this kind of understand my, my husband's going through a very trying time. And he just looks at her as if he doesn't doesn't need her to explain himself, you know, <laughs> just. And he finally looks at him and goes, why don't you go upstairs and, and rest for a little bit, dear? And she just kind of looks at her not quite finished breakfast as if she's going to say something and then just, of course, darling. But you notice that she totally takes the biscuit off the plate as she goes. Like she's not totally giving up her breakfast over this. And starts to head out of the room. And finally, he's like, would you like to sit? Would you like something for, to eat? No, I've already had breakfast today. But I will sit. I do mean it. Find someone that actually liked my mother. The priest doesn't even like her. He likes her. <sighs> he doesn't even like her. My mother was a mean spirited woman. That doesn't make her death any less of a crime. No, it doesn't. The shocker isn't that someone killed her, sir. The shocker is that it's taken the You don't get to live your life being this nasty of a human yes and i'm and i'm sure you don't live the life under the cloud that people suspect that you were the one who did it you are I said the one to most gain most to gain most from it he basically like waves that off as if it's nothing they're gonna think poorly of me for something that may be the case I, that my, my mother hated my wife did you know that? Such a Rollins. It had been suggested to us, yes. Did, did she tell you why? I believe a difference of denomination. She's Catholic. My wife is Catholic. My mother won't even let most Catholic. My mother wouldn't even let my wife in the house when she found out she was Catholic. Because Catholic somehow get on the furniture or something ridiculous uh. look sir my mother wrote me off long long ago the only reason that i was even allowed back in was so that she could at least keep the pretense of control don't miss her i would miss my wife And quite frankly, none of this is good for my wife. My wife is um, in a delicate position. I'm not going to ask it out loud. Does that suggest that the wife is pregnant? Please suggest the wife is pregnant. They're usually delicate in that. Just checking that 
he'd be using delicate in that way. But it seems so very almost like he was so agitated and such a fussy, fussy human, right? And now he's almost, he's not any really less pompous, mind you. He's just a little bit less of an ass. He, he genuinely cares for his wife, so. Who, no, she's too Catholic to come into my mother's home while my mother was alive. Still cares about me speaking ill of the, my dead mother. So my wife is a is a oh, nice person. Nicer than me. Nicer than I deserve. My mother, not a nice human. Well. If you have a care for your wife and her condition, I would suggest you do your best to be as pleasant as possible to her. It will probably help her. She is, I think, worried about you, even if you are, how this may reflect on you, even if you are not. I would say something about women and delicate sensibilities, but it might offend you. I'll have heard worse. And the saddest part is, is that that comment, honestly, from this guy was not meant to be offensive, even though it bullied <laughs> Waymon will sit no. quietly and just roll his eyes slightly at that comment. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, Morgana is doing it, making... I make uh, spending serious energy not having your eyes just rolling back throughout this entire conversation. Um, is there anyone else you know of who would have something to gain from your mother's death beyond just having her out of their life? Honestly, no. As far as I know, I inherit everything. Not that that's what my mother really wanted. It's just, other than giving it all to the church, what was she going to do? I'm somewhat surprised it wasn't all being left to the church. But no, I can't think of anyone else who would benefit. I mean, he, he kind of gestures towards the servants area. And he mentions the um, the butler's name has been with the family almost his entire life. Do you think that my mother left him a dime? Rollins hasn't released the will, but I guarantee you she didn't leave him a dime. It seems we've looked back again to you talking about how terrible your mother was instead of talking about how uh, who could have possibly done this. <laughs> Look, what I'm trying to tell you is, is that even the people who supposedly cared more for her than anyone else aren't going to profit from her demise. She just isn't. Again, so slightly stunned that she didn't just leave it all to the church just to spite me. So no, I can't think of anyone who would profit from her being gone. Um, you have seen okay, the will. Okay. Yes. Sorry? You have seen the will. Is that correct? I saw the will years ago. Before I got married. As far as I know, the will has not been changed. But Rollins has released it. She's refusing to hold a reading of it until I Till she determines how worthy. Until your mother is found, you mean? Her. Or her corpse is found. She has this 
a weird little, it's a weird expression. Um, there's no love loss with his mother. But it just, it's just, it's quizzical. Why? Why take her body? I mean, I can't say that I don't understand someone being her life. Can't even say that I haven't thought of it. But seriously, why take her body? That's an interesting question. One that we too would like to know the answer to. It just seems... Macabre? Yes. I feel like I agree. Life more than anything. The most obvious reason is there is something... that the body itself may be a clue or not a corpse. <laughs> is there anyone who would... Beyond your mother, do you have any enemies? Anyone who would benefit from you being cut out of the will? Oh, my. Anyone with a grudge against you? Not that I can imagine how that could happen. I can't imagine. No. It'd be very strange. I'm an absolute ass. I can be. But no. I mean, my wife and I. I mean, no, we're expecting our first child, and I work for her father. It's been going very well. He's an accountant. I looks for some businesses. Honestly, I had hoped that the idea of having our first, her first grandchild would have softened my mother. I was supposed to tell her about it at, when I took her to Easter service. I just don't understand taking her body. Well... It is, I think, world. something of the crux of this matter. Yes, in the modern world, it could be anything, really. There are a number of magical things which you could do. I'm but, sorry, uh, what? Oh, he just, like, drops his fork and it clatters on the table. I'm, I'm sorry, what? Well? They, are they you... so took my mother's body to, for magic purposes? What type of... We live in the modern age. It is one potential. And my Catholics are sinners. My there mother. are much worse than Catholics in this world. Oh, yes. You're just going to take a body for... I, I'm not sure what magical purposes are, but if you're going to do that, why my mother? Um, have you ever heard of sympathetic magic? No. Well, sympathetic magic is all about taking something that belongs to someone and using it for, well, to affect that person from afar. Usually it's a small item, but um, with the body, well, there are many different things you could do with that, I imagine. I'll try and hide it from the sun, but um, Waymont will get a raised eyebrow, a, a turn of head and raised eyebrow from Morgana at that, that suggestion. Yeah, he, the, the, the son is now trying to think of who he might have ticked off so much so that he's trying to use his dead mother to do harm to him somehow. Like, I can't think of anybody, but that is a whole new world of what the fuck for that man. 
I just want you to keep in mind that uh, these are strange circumstances, and it's entirely possible that uh, it may be for strange reasons that they've taken your mother's body. I don't want to rule anything out. But I trust you can see why we consider this input, this investigation being completed as fully as possible is important. And one of the best things you can do is um, cooperate with us on it. Quite so, quite so. I'm not sure how I can help. I actually can't think of anybody that would want to use information, connections, even things that seem inconsequential to you may be much more important than you realize. I can answer anything you want answered. But I can't think of anybody. I, I really can't. So, was there anyone in the house who you might? Well, I suppose you you have said you can't suspect anyone really. It's very uh, unusual. Uh, what was your mother doing in, uh, in the lead up to these events? Yelling at people walking down the street. Um, I don't know. She hadn't. She hardly ever leaves the house other than to go to church. Or something. And even that I've done as much of in the last year or two. What you've been saying, I can probably assume she didn't have very many friends at church. No. Like I said, I don't even think the priest liked her. Interesting. I mean, Church of England does like tithing, much like every other church, but other than money, uh, I honestly think she hasn't gone shopping all that much because she's unhappy at every store for some reason or another. They hired cat folks. They let an elf girl in the building. I, who knows? There's always something wrong with everyone and everything. Um, that is a point, actually. Did any members of your staff or... Uh, extended family undergo goblinization. Or the looking glass fever, pardon. I'm sure people in the staff have, but if they did, she fired them. And as far as I think I'm the only family she had left. But staff wise, yeah, she would have fired them. Unfortunately, she's fired so many people. Yes. It's, it's more if someone lasts six months than if they don't. She used to say something about how well she paid the staff as a sign of how generous she was. And the truth was, it wasn't that she was generous. It's just that they put up with her and they pay well to keep anyone. I see. Well, uh, any further questions? I can't think of anything at the moment. Where would be best of us to contact you if we need, if anything else comes up? 
I am staying here until that lawyer. And then I'm staying this house. And anything to do with my mother. So I have to look at it. Is that something people who know you would know already that you if you inherited you would be selling this place on? And he, he has to think about that for a second. He's like, I don't know that I've ever said it, but it's well known that there's no love loss with my mother. No no one to move back into this home. Mm. I mean, everything here reminds me of, well, her. She got rid of anything that was my age of That seems, well, understandable, I think, but so I don't think anyone knew that that's what I would do, but I don't think anyone would be surprised that that's exactly what I'll do. I'm not sure that that helps too much. Not, unfortunately not, but it's all more information for us to work with. Well, I mean, my wife would probably know. My father-in-law would probably have known. But honestly, neither of them would would have harmed my mother. They are and he has this look, and it's not quite, but it's not quite that these murkies, they're devout, true followers. Believe in charity and goodwill and things like that. And yes, I'm aware I don't deserve my wife. Well, being one of, aware of one's failings allows one the chance to correct them, I suppose. And that is possibly deserving. Thank you for your time. We may have other questions going forward. We will try and deal with this matter as quickly as possible. Indeed. What, uh, it was um, a pleasure meeting you. We will return later. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, exit room, much to Waymont about the damn it. I was hoping he'd be guilty. That would have simplified matters. Well, I don't think he's guilty that much, is certain. <laughs> Sadly, being an ass is not a crime. If it were, then... be <laughs> if, if it were, then we'd have to arrest half the planet, I'm afraid. <laughs> Everybody really transported the graph indeed, yes. And probably make the army happy. You know that uh, Nigel wanted to go look outside. Yes, that's the the only real lead that I found. I'm assuming we can find a spot to to meet up here. Oh yeah, you guys can and then go outside and look around. So, quick question actually, on some assessment as we're leaving the place, the wife's behavior was genuine concern of a nice person who's upset, worried about her husband's reputation and family and that sort of thing, rather than worried about just investigating. 
only worried about her husband, not about your investigation. I don't know if that's necessarily that's fine. That's... as much as it is. She's more probably worried about his actual soul. She sees the yeah, good that's... if nobody else does. <laughs> <laughs> Had, if you guys investigate to like the father-in-law and all that, he actually turned his father-in-law's company around. It was not doing well. Got involved, and it's one of those. His father-in-law was actually a very nice person, and was doing a lot of charitable stuff and with the Catholic Church, and was helping with this and that, and wasn't getting a lot of business done. He's driving influence of business. And then you might have some extra money to throw at charitable things. But he's kind of their necessary evil, sort of. Yeah. Well, we, we've we all met people who you go, look at them and go, the, why is she with him? He must have some redeeming qualities. And, and the thing is, that he does. Don't pump his hat. <laughs> Like, he generally loves his wife. He does. Yeah. He actually loves his father-in-law. He actually loved his mother, but, uh, well, his mother didn't even like his father. Like, she didn't like anybody. Yeah. Horrible uh, way to go through life. Mm. <laughs> like, this is the type of person who, they may die with a bunch of money, but... You're not getting three honest tears at that funeral. Except for maybe who is upset about the woman's death or about coming in and seeing the blood. Who knows? And and he's not wrong in the fact that like the, the butler who's been with the family like pretty much his entire adult life, she didn't leave him a day. There's little bits we're going to look into as we go on, so yep. I believe I was just making sure there was, you know, just sort of running through just to make sure that we you know, try to tick off suspects as we go. It's quite a big list, I understand. But... So let's do the outside. What are you rolling? Well, first, let's just kind of gather everybody up. I'll point out. This was where I saw on the terrace. You can see the roses here have been disturbed recently. Uh -huh. And let's start. I, I'm going to start just awareness to kind of look around and see if I can find any other signs of where the trail may have gone after this. That's a 13 for me. A 22, just with perception, because I haven't got awareness yet, um, to have a look around. I'm sorry. You had... My dice are definitely being happy to. Did you say a 42? 22, not quite a 42. Oh. 22. <laughs> I mean, on, a, on perception, awareness -y. Um. Yeah, default, defaulting awareness to perception. Yeah. So very much you can tell especially with night point but hey can you climb up this or climb down this trellis you you were breaking up again there sorry you guys can very obviously tell especially where nigel points out like somebody either climbed up and down or at least one direction on the terrace um i think with the 22, you can tell that they went both up and down the terrace, or uh, the trellis, to get to the window. Yeah. Also, it's... really noticeable. Something... The roses at the bottom, up against the building, underneath the window. As if something somewhat large and heavy was dropped out that window. Yeah. A large and heavy person, perhaps? Inside. Out that window. <laughs> Smush. 
the plant underneath. Yes. I don't know if you've seen it in the chat, but August also got a 23 on awareness. So. Oh, sorry, August. Yeah, 23. You probably can see where someone went up and down the trellis, and it wouldn't be hard to go from that trellis to the window, which didn't mm -hmm. have a lot. Uh, you can very easily see that something large and sizable weight. Um, matter of fact, I'll give you with the 23. You can even kind of maybe see some blood at the base. Okay. Don't think I've got track here. Whereas was rolled up in bed, not apparently you can't have dropped a couple of some splatter somewhere. Which you found. Good job. Yay. Yeah. Okay. Yay, good team. Okay, so they dropped the body out from the window, climbed, climbed down. They also climbed up the window here to get into the window. We know when they stabbed the body, the blade went through the bedding, so there should be some sort of a blood drip, I would think. Can we pick up signs of that? To see if we can get a trail to figure out where they would have went to. So there was extra bedding that's missing. So it was rolled up in the bedding from the bed and then the extra bedding. I thought I made the clip. Maybe I didn't. Because she got cold really easy. So there was always extra bedding in case. So there's bedding missing, but not clothing missing. Right. No, I, but... It was stabbed, but she was stabbed through the bedding because we saw signs that the blade went through the bottom. But you're missing the. But then, then they probably the wrapped. So like a blanket. They wrapped her in fresh bedding. They they wrapped her in the extra bedding as well, which wouldn't have had the sound. <laughs> so extra bedding, as in bedding, wasn't on the bed. I'm having a real hard time understanding through how much your voice is dropping off. Yeah, I got that that was taken. So, so there, so there's no stab mark through all of that bedding because it was extra. It was wrapped up in that and then thrown out. And it's less likely to cause drips. So less likely to have drips because it doesn't have... The bin from that part did not help things. So there could still be a trail. You could look and see. It wouldn't be much of a trail. And it's definitely not an obvious trail. Well, it's not I mean, super obvious. I mean, we it's don't have it. any other leads to go off of, so we're stuck looking anyway. Yeah. And as well as you guys are rolling, if there's anything, you guys are going to find it. So give me a roll. See what we get. Nine. Eight. Well, I'm just perception. I don't have a tracking skill, so... I see, I don't have a tracking skill. River seems the most likely to have the tracking skill amongst us. 
12 on an awareness. Sorry, what was and that, I also don't have 12. 12. But I also don't have tracking, so. Who had tracking? None of us. None of us? <laughs> okay, and the highest was... Uh, highest was 14. a 12. 12. So if I found any signs of an obvious trail, I doubt we're going to find anything. Not finding anything. Yes, it's just there's not much of a trail. Um, you do have a whole bunch of leads that can be looked down as far as, because I think you guys are going to ask for a list of vendors and people that she had pissed off in the last month to six months. Yeah, but that doesn't help what, us find a body. No, it does not help you find a body. It gives you people to question. It does not help you find a body. All right. Looking around out here. So this was facing the street? Yep. So this would go, like, towards the, the front? So they could have had, like, a streetcar or something waiting? You can see that... if there's... Is there anywhere else that Can they it... may have hidden? Yeah. Um, lots of areas because of hedges and decorative-esque fencing. Some of which is real fencing that was, is prettier than... Um, there's... Actually, you guys got here. It was it was morning, morning. Yep. yep. You guys want to talk to some of the neighbors that are in the area? Because there's lots of nosy neighbors out right now. Okay. See if they think unusual. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't hear you. I don't think anybody spoke. I think that was your own feedback. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Do you guys want to talk to neighbors? Neighbors or... and any other. Get any other idea of any businesses would be delivering late at night. Anybody who's going to be active at night if they saw anything strange. You know, I suspect a streetwise role, but... Probably a good place to start. Also, like the butler in the kitchen let me know who does super early delivery type things that might have, you know, and that, you know, wee hours, you know, 3, 4 a.m. stuff. Yeah, that would be reasonable. You guys then we can think crack from there. And give me just a minute. I'll be right back. As it stands, it doesn't look likely to me that it was 
the family or the household servants. You think it was some third party who why... just hopped in and stole a body? <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure. If I had an answer, I'd be suggesting it. But the servants wouldn't need to go through any rigmarole of moving the body out of the window. And the son is an ass, but not... Doesn't seem like the type, is what you're saying. No, he... For a start, he'd be a lot more um, aggressive towards us moving on, I think, if he was guilty. I don't think he... Probably right. Well, he had some accounts in particular he was looking into. I think we'll want to speak about those with Miss Rollins. Yes. Okay, so you guys are doing three. What are we doing? We're asking at the moment. Things. We're thinking that's me. I hate when they all decide to think. It's a dangerous pastime. Terrible. It is. Terrible. Streetwise, I think, to try to try and track down some more leads. Now, this is an upper class neighborhood, so this likely not going to have been any near to wells out and about. But servant and delivery men, yes. Wouldn't be many ne'er dwells hanging about. Uh, well, perhaps not, but you wouldn't expect it, certainly. I'm just thinking of anybody who might have wit been around a witness. <laughs> Probably not ne'er dwells, certainly. Yeah, no, that's that's what I'm referring to. And this is all just residential Pos around us? Other estates and that yeah, sort of thing? It. Yeah, it's all pretty much residential, but there's deliveries. Depending on what time of night it was done, it was done late into the early morning. There are a lot of delivery types that are out. They might have noticed an unusual vehicle if we think it was taken by a vehicle, but yeah, well, the most it seems more likely them yeah, carrying the a, bundle, a body bundle and bedding out of this vehicle. That'd be the easiest way. <laughs> and perhaps at least carrying a corpse out and bedding would cause gossip. They tried to. Now, what's interesting is they left the blood splatter. At the the scene, but they did try to wipe down the blood on the window. So whoever was doing this knew enough to try and cover their escape. They just didn't. They, they just botched it because I found the 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 fingerprints and left streaks. I don't suppose there's any telltale footprints outside no. It's a lawn. I'm sure most of that would have disappeared with the morning dew. And various hedges and that sort of thing they could have hidden out in until the vehicle got there. So they wouldn't have necessarily had to have left it. If they came we know... in this way. What 
time this occurred? No. So, Some time before between her going to bed and the, her breakfast, unfortunately. Right. Rather, that's a rather long period of time. Uh, is there any maids or servants who might have been on the night shift, for example? No. Um, there's a couple of day maids. There's the uh, the cook, the butler, and the ladies' maid, but all of them sleep in the servants' quarters, which is basically as far as you can get away from her. Um, she didn't have that much staff left other than those three and a couple of day maids. Mostly because she fired everybody every time I turned around. Well, I suppose it could have been someone who was rather spiteful at being fired. Really? But, um, it just seems odd because here. they made a display of leaving the blood behind. So they wanted to show that she was dead or at least give that impression. Yes. Obviously, it sounds hiding them removing the body is because the body is in somehow important. Not that that is a particularly helpful statement, I'll admit, but right, and, and, and then move the body. Why? <laughs> Have there been any other killings reported around in the area? No. Matter of fact, this is a very... Usually crime-free-esque area. I mean, there's not a lot of pickpocketing. There's definitely been no murders in this area. All over the papers. This is Mayfair. Half the people who own the papers live here. And nothing even outside of this area within London that had any similar reports? No. Um, August, you have criminal, don't, or, well, street. Okay. Try to think who would have this. Maybe August. So, I've that got... many are usually considered crimes of passion. There's a lot of anger that in, involved with stabbing anybody that many times. Mm hmm. Yeah, I've got knowledge law. Yeah, so that would work for that, yeah. you. If it's, it's not, this sounds bad, but it's true. If I'm just going to rob you, and I do kill you while I'm robbing you, it's usually a bullet, a stab. To be stabbed that many times is considered a crime of passion, anger. Mm -hmm. Usually the person, which is partially the sun coming up, 
but you're angry. You don't usually just kill. It does happen. It has happened. But typically speaking, this much violence is angry. I think right. I might need to have a look through the household records. But in this, with that much going on, like I said, it, it's giving me thoughts that like it's that they were putting on a show. You think so? I mean, why this else? is a very likely person to have. Why else would you? I mean, if you were going to to come in and just kill an old woman in her sleep, one, you'd probably slit her throat so that she's not making any noise. One single cut and and be done. But if the, you're stabbing her repeatedly like that, that there's there would be no need for it. Especially if you were then going to abscan with the body and try to get away with it. But they left it, and, and they left the obvious signs of the blood in the bed. It's very strange. Yes. Well, and don't let me stop if anybody else had stuff they wanted to do. I'm just musing aloud while we were kind of paused. Well, you guys tell me what you're doing or you're going or asking or what we're asking or where we're going. Tell me what we're doing. I was considering a street wise to see if there's been any unusual comings and goings over the last few days, you know, beyond us um, in the area. All right, let's see what your role is. At seven. At seven, at seven what you get is, is the morning of, night of, morning of death. Several of the street lamps right here in front of this, in, on this block, were uh, broken. They hadn't been broken the night before. They have, well, they enough neighborhood, they've been fixed. But that morning, they were broken. Or that night, if you want to look at it. Around in front of the house, basically. Yeah. Where's the nearest sewer access? Sewer access. If it's dark in the house, you can move the body more easily, but you probably wouldn't want to move it far. But if you get it underground, there's a lot less people to see you down there, right here. That is very true, and there is an elaborate sewer system for London. I thought. I'm not crazy. Okay. There is indeed, because we've had the great stink of 1857, and Basil um Yeah, they had to get developed. Has built his sewers. <laughs> Shortly before this point. <laughs> and let's be honest, Mayfair only put its sewers first. Um, I would say there'd be a sewage access within a block. Oh, I can do a civil engineering to figure out where it is. Yeah, you can do that. Plausible. Now, with darkness out front of the house, that makes that much more workable. Well, because there's sewer access, but then there's also drainage access. I don't. I think they would have separated yeah. the two. I think they're pretty much the same in London at this stage. Uh, 14. Yeah, I mean, there is a 
sewage drainage access at the end of the block just um i mean three houses down type of thing i like it's just at the end of the block wouldn't be hard to get Well, we can go take a look. Oh, he's taking a look. Anybody else want to do anything? Anybody else have uh, streetwise they want to try? Yeah, hang on, I'll roll. Where is Rupa talking to the neighborhood dogs when we need her? We talk to the neighborhood dogs while we need her. Um, we can assume that's what Rupa yeah. ran off and did, and we'll hear back from that uh, next session. There you go. She went off to her to the neighborhood pets. Uh, 14 on the streetwise for August. Nice. So, yeah, the lights were out. There's several early morning. You, however, do an interesting group. There's a, a woman that's a who sells drippings. Uh, basically, lard. Beef drippings. Mm -hmm. and they in, commonly in kitchens in this time period but uh, it was interesting because she was over at that house and they thought that was interesting because she's a troll and she didn't like well anybody especially Catholics especially and no boojums no boojums no Catholics no nothing <laughs> so if you're a Catholic boojum, you're well scuppered. Oh, dude, I'm surprised she didn't have you shot if you're a Catholic boojum. Like that, that <laughs> is terrible right there. No dogs, no boojums, no Irish. <laughs> Sadly, a probably utterly plausible sign in this time period. If you were Irish, jump, I, I bet she would have had you drawn in quarter. Just saying. Cool thing. All right. I think I'm going to have to apologize. I'm going to end this a little bit early. Um, you guys can keep making some thoughts and some decisions and um, just Put it in the messages and I'll try to get back to you. I'm sorry about cutting the short today. Something has just come up and I'm going to to let you go. I heart you guys. Uh, take off. No uh, LPs. You have some guys doing a lot of good work. Um, 400. Okay. All right. Thank you. Well, that was a whirlwind session, wasn't it? <laughs> Absolutely mm -hmm. was. Lots of pondering to do. Oh, yes. Well, I do have the, the stream to wrap up. Any final thoughts anybody wants to get in before we close that out? <laughs> Where are we going to find a room big enough to get half the population of her neighborhood into for doing the big reveal of who's guilty when we get all the suspects lined up? <laughs> Someone needs to hire a hall. Oh, it's going to be me, isn't it? I've got the money. Yeah, that'll be you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, it's funny. It's, oh, somebody's going to have to spend money. Oh, right, that's me. Just, just every time <laughs> that comes up.
<laughs> it's it's the aristocrat's special ability, isn't it? Fun to everything. <laughs> it's me. I'm not going to. I'm the problem. It's me. <laughs> it's what your brother does. I think it's pops up. Morgana. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's following the family tradition. It's definitely part of the write-up of Aristocrat. As, oh yes, I'm the one paying for all of this. Well, you probably forget about it because you don't even notice the amounts that go missing. <laughs> yeah, well, given the Aristocrat's weekly earnings, yeah, that's entirely plausible. Yeah, it's, just... it's stupid. <laughs> I mean, compared to everybody <laughs> else, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, with that, I think we will go ahead and wrap up the stream. Thank you very much for everybody watching. Uh, the recording will get put up on YouTube. I have been working on those. I've been getting more of them put up, so uh, you can catch up on any of the, the prior events if you haven't seen them. Uh, so, yeah, again, thanks, everybody, for watching, and we will see you guys next time.